Here is how I fix my FPS drops, annoying lags, and stutters in my CS2. If you're tired of random frame drops, input delay, and choppy gameplay, this video is for you. I'll walk you through step-by-step -step performance tweaks that actually work, not just generic tips. These methods boost FPS, reduce stutter, and make CS2 run smoother, even on low-end PCs. Competitive players use these optimizations to get consistent frames and lower input lag. Stick around till the end, because applying all of these will make your CS2 feel brand new. Tired of ping spikes, packet loss, and lag in Counter-Strike 2? Gear Up Booster is your ultimate fix. It gives you stable, responsive connections so you never lose a round to bad ping. Just download it and it automatically stabilizes your network in the background. Top esports teams trust it and now you can too. Hit the link in the description and take control of your CS2 connection today. Say goodbye to lag and get smoother, faster gameplay. First, click the Windows search bar, type Activity History and open Activity History Privacy Settings. In this window, you will either see a checkbox or a toggle option that says, store my activity history on this device. If it's turned on or checked, make sure to switch it off. This stops Windows from saving your background activity, which normally eats up RAM and CPU power for no real reason. By disabling this feature, you're freeing up system resources and making sure your PC is focused on gaming performance instead of logging unnecessary data. For CS2 players, this means fewer FPS drops, reduced lag spikes, and a smoother experience overall. It's a quick change that can make a noticeable difference, especially if you're gaming on a mid-range or budget PC and want every frame to count. Now, if you are using Discord while playing CS2, launch Discord. Click the gear icon in the lower left corner to open user settings. From the left-hand menu, scroll down and select Advanced. Inside this section, you will find the option called Hardware Acceleration. If it is enabled, toggle it off. Discord will then ask you to restart. Click Yes. What this change does is stop Discord from using your GPU in the background while you're gaming. Normally, hardware acceleration forces your graphics card to handle Discord's animations and processes, which can take away resources that should be going directly to your game. By disabling it, you free up extra GPU power for Counter-Strike 2, helping reduce FPS drops, fix micro stutters, and lower overall input lag. This is especially helpful if you're running CS2 on a mid-range or low-end setup, where every bit of performance counts. Now guys, open the Windows search bar, type Registry Editor and open it. At the top, click the address bar and paste the exact registry path provided in the video or in the description. Then press Enter. On the right hand side, look for the entry named Win32 Priority Separation. Double click it and in the value data field, set it to 26 hexadecimal. After that, click OK and close the registry editor. What this does is tell Windows to prioritize the active program you're currently running, instead of splitting resources evenly between background tasks. For gamers, this means your system gives more attention to CS2 while it's running, rather than wasting performance on background apps and services. As a result, you can experience fewer FPS drops, reduced stuttering, and smoother gameplay, especially when multitasking or streaming at the same time. This tweak is one of the most effective ways to push more processing power directly into your game. Now, open the Windows search bar, type Storage Sense, and click on Storage Settings. Scroll down until you find the section labeled Storage Sense, then toggle it off. By default, Storage Sense automatically runs background cleanups to delete temporary files and manage disk space. While this sounds useful, it can sometimes trigger during gaming sessions, putting extra load on your storage drive. This background activity can cause sudden lag spikes, longer loading times, or even small stutters in Counter-Strike 2. By disabling it, you make sure that Windows won't start heavy cleanup tasks 
while you're gaming, allowing your disc to fully dedicate its speed to the game. If you're tired of constant ping spikes, packet loss, and frustrating lag in Counter-Strike 2, then Gear Up Booster is the ultimate solution you need. CS2 is a highly competitive game where every millisecond matters, and Gear Up Booster ensures that your connection stays stable and responsive, so you never lose a round because of bad ping. Recently, Gear Up Booster has taken major steps specifically for CS2 players by adding dedicated server routes, optimized node connections, and enhanced algorithms that directly target the high traffic servers used by Counter-Strike 2. This means smoother gameplay, lower latency, and almost zero jitter when you're in the middle of clutch situations. By downloading Gear Up Booster, you'll instantly reduce your ping, stabilize your network, and get rid of random lag spikes that ruin your aim and timing. The booster works automatically in the background and gives you the most reliable path to CS2 servers, so your shots register faster and your reactions feel more accurate. So don't wait. Click the link in the description right now and download Gear Up Booster to fix your CS2 lag issues instantly. Once you try it, you'll experience the real difference between losing to lag and winning with confidence. Now guys, type notifications and actions into the Windows search bar and click on the result that appears. Inside the settings menu, look for the option that says get notifications from apps and other senders and switch it off. By disabling this, you prevent Windows from sending pop-ups and alerts while you're gaming. These notifications may seem harmless, but they actually use system resources and force your PC to render extra UI elements in the middle of your gameplay. For CS2 players, that can translate into frame drops, micro stutters, or even input delay at the worst possible time. Like in the middle of a clutch round. Now, Open the device manager by searching for it in the start menu. Once it's open, scroll down and expand the system devices section. Inside this list, find the entry called high precision event timer. Then right click on it and choose disable device. Windows may prompt you for confirmation. Click yes to proceed. What this does is disable a legacy timer that Windows sometimes relies on for managing tasks. But in modern systems, it can actually introduce unnecessary latency. By turning HPET off, you allow your system to handle frame timing more efficiently, which can improve responsiveness and reduce micro stutters in games like Counter-Strike 2. Many players notice tighter input response and smoother overall gameplay after disabling it. And don't worry, if anything feels off or you don't like the results, you can always re-enable it by following the exact same steps in reverse. Now restart your PC and your CS2 will run smoother with higher FPS and fewer stutters. If this helped fix your lag and boost your gameplay, don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe for more CS2 performance guides and optimizations that actually work.